now the first step is to make sure the servers are up and running so you can go to EA website the link is provided in the video description and you can go to EA forum and check if there is any kind of a server like outage they will let you know on this page if there is any server outage then there is no need to perform any steps you have to wait once servers are up and running you can start playing the game next step is to update repair uninstall and reinstall EA anti-cheat so for this if the game is installed in EA app then you can click on manage go to properties and then go to the game installation folder in my case it is installed in steam so wherever the game is installed go to the game installation folder and then this will take you to the game installation folder now open installer folder now open EA anti-cheat folder now here you can see EA anti-cheat installer make a double click to run this file and then over here from the drop down you have to select FC 25 so if you see FC 25 select FC 25 if you don't see FC 25 select FC 24 and then click on update now you will see update success now go to the drop down select FC 25 this time click on update once again and once update check is success now you can launch the game and then check still not working this time again select FC 25 and then click on repair and then go to the game installation folder so click on OK and then go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed so if you have the game on EA app then open program files and then open the EA games you will see EA games and then open the select the game folder then click on select folder I have the game on Steam so open program file 686 now open the Steam folder Steam apps common select the game folder and then click on select folder and let the repair complete now here you can see install success now you can launch the game and then check still not working again select FC 25 and this time select click on uninstall once uninstall is done now click on install now once install is success now you can launch the game and then check still not working again select FC 25 over here and this time click on uninstall once again and once the uninstall is complete do not install just close this window and then launch the game now once you launch the game this time it will give you a prompt to click on yes to allow to install EA anti-cheat and during the install when it's launching the game during the install it will install EA anti-cheat and the game should be able to launch now it's still not working uh, the next step is to now if you have any other anti-cheat program like if you have face it anti-cheat or if you have any kind of any other anti-cheat uninstall other anti-cheat so just uninstall if you have any extra anti-cheat installed in your computer uninstall it and then launch the game next step is to run EA app as an administrator so if EA app is running close the EA app once you close the EA app now type in EA in Windows search box and then make a right click on EA app and then click on run as administrator and then check next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this go to the game installation folder and then make a right click on the game exe file select properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check and you have to launch the game from the game installation folder make a double click launch the game next step is to launch e app in offline mode now go to EA app click on this three dot and here you can see the option which says go offline so click on go offline and yes I am sure and then over here you will see install games you will see FC 25 click on it and let the game launch now once the game is up and running you can open EA app 
and then you can click on these three horizontal lines and then click on go online and then you can check now if you face any kind of error then in that case you can launch the game once again and then check next step is to restart the computer simply restart the computer once and after the system restart launch the game and then check now the next step is to make sure date time time zone and reason is correct in your computer so on the bottom right here you can see the date and time make a right click on date and time now click on adjust date and time and make sure set time zone automatically is on also set time automatically is also on and scroll down here you can sync now option click on sync now if you receive any errors in red click on sync now multiple times and once this is synced now you can go to time and language and go to language and region and make sure your country is selected over here now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you are using allow the game exe file or the complete game folder to the exception list of that particular antivirus program i am not using any third party antivirus so i cannot show you i am using window security so if you are using window security then go to settings and then go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 in windows 10 update and security now click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app browse all apps go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open again click on add an allowed app browse all apps select all the exe file Again, click on add and load app, browse all apps. Select this EA anti-cheat game service launcher also. Now type in control panel and then go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings on the top. Click on allow another app. Click on browse and then go to the game installation folder and then select all the exe file. Open, add. In my case, it is already added. Again, click on allow another app. Click on browse select this fc25 open add once it is added again click on allow another app click on browse select this exe file click on add in my case i have already added all the games exe file now once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to perform power cycle now to perform power cycle shut down your computer first and then unplug the power cable from the computer turn off the wi-fi router wait for a few seconds restart your wi-fi wi router and then plug in the power cable back to the computer and then start your computer and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to run this command these commands are provided in the video description type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator Click on yes to allow and copy all these commands one by one and then paste it over here. Hit the enter key. Again, copy the second command, paste it, hit the enter key, paste it, hit the enter key. Now, once you run all these command, now you have to restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to use Google DNS server. Now for this, type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel. And then go to network and internet. Now click on network and sharing center. Now click on your network and then over here you will see the properties option click on properties and over here select this internet protocol version 4 tcp ipv4 select this and then click on properties now over here select the second option over here which says use the following dns server addresses and over here type in 8 so if this is empty then type in 8 then again 8 
eight, eight. Then again eight, eight, four, four. And then put a check on validate settings upon exit. And then click on OK. And then close this. Close it. Close the troubleshooter if you if it is if it is launching troubleshooter. And then you can check. The next step is to perform network reset. Now, before you perform network reset, make sure that you have the Wi-Fi password because when you perform network reset, the computer will restart. Then when you try to connect to your uh, Wi-Fi, it will be asking for your password. So make sure that you have the password. And to perform network reset, you can open Windows settings and then go to network and internet. And then go to advanced network settings. And then over here, you can see the network reset option. Click on it and then click on reset now. And then are you sure you want to reset your network settings? If you agree, click on yes. And once that is done, your computer will restart. And after the system restart, when you connect to your Wi-Fi network, it will be asking for your password. So enter the password and then once connected, then you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to switch to different network. So if you have any other network available, then you can switch to different network. And once uh, you connect to different network. Now you can launch the game and then check. You can also use your mobile hotspot. So you can turn on the data, your cell phone data on your phone, and then you can turn on the hotspot on your phone. And then you can, you will see your phone over here, phone network, connect to your phone network, and then you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to use ethernet connection. So use the wired connection. So if your computer has an ethernet port, and if you have an ethernet cable, uh, you can use the wired connection and then launch the game. Now the next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So go to Windows Update or Update and Security. Then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Now the last step is to verify or repair the game file. So for this, you can go to the Steam. If you have the game on Steam, then go to Properties, go to Install Files tab, and then click on Verify Integrity of Game Files. After the verification, launch the game. If you have the game on EA app, then in that case you can go to the game click click on the game and then over here click on manage and over here you will see the repair option i don't see the repair option uh, because it is linked to steam so you will see the repair option after the repair you can launch the game and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the connectivity issue with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel